So I guess I'll just get right into the topic of this video. Uh, a couple of months ago, my friend passed away and I don't think I had processed it fully then. I don't know if I have now either, but um, I don't think I was ready to talk about it for a while. But last night I had a dream and I've had a couple other dreams like this too, where he was there and we had like a long hug basically. And it, I don't know whether that's because I feel like he needed comfort or if I need comfort from what happened. But it's always a really nice comforting hug and I think that experience in my dream, I guess, reminds me of him and I think also makes me realize that I'm processing it more than I think I am, basically. So I feel like a big part of him passing away is feeling like I could have done more because this was um, a suicide. He had bipolar and a f couple of other things, I think, but um, honestly, I had tried pretty hard to be in contact with him. I had like sent him a written letter because he wasn't ready to see people in person yet or that's what his mom had told me and his other friends multiple times when we reached out and so I had written a letter to him personally so I could like speak to him directly basically even if it wasn't through like actual speaking but I still got the response that he wasn't ready to see anyone and honestly I hadn't seen him for probably over a year before he passed away and it just kind of makes me really sad. I feel like maybe if he had been able to see his friends more or spend time outside of the house a little bit more with other people maybe he would have gotten a different perspective on life. I'm not sure exactly what was going through his head all the time. I think a lot of times he was good at hiding it when I did see him because either he was in a good place at that time or he didn't like want to hurt anybody's feelings or make anybody else feel bad. He was always the kind of person that would like listen to other people talking and kind of take in everything that they were saying and everything that they were going through and a lot of times like me and his friends were not bringing like a good vibe I guess I don't know or he once told me that I was like one of the only people that never made him feel bad but I remember one of the last things I said to him like um, it was through a text actually because we hadn't seen each other in person for that but I said something like or he was talking about like his mom being or like would be disappointed if he failed I guess and I said like I don't think that your mom would be disappointed if you failed I think she wants you to at least try and then that was the last I heard of him and I think that's the last time I spoke to him directly at all. And I feel like looking back I might have said something a little too harsh. I know that like he was really sensitive so he could have taken it in a really bad way. And I, I still kind of regret saying that because maybe if I hadn't said that like he would have still been talking to me at the time maybe I don't I guess I don't really know what happened after that but he kind of like changed his number 
he wasn't talking to anybody again and like yeah i hadn't seen him for a while and then he had just been gone and i know that the day i found out i got a long message from his mom and i was like really worried because usually she doesn't send like that long of a message to me and um so yeah i feel like even before i read it like i knew that something had happened but um i guess i don't know if this video is like very proper to be talking about sort of this sort of thing but again like i don't have a huge following and i make these videos a lot for me to look back on and you know maybe for other people to kind of relate or to share their own experiences but i really hope that um my friend knows that we all cared about him even though we hadn't seen him for a while and that we did reach out or try at least um and that i still see him in my dreams sometimes like it'd be a very short segment in my dream and i don't often remember my dreams but i did remember this part I seem to always remember this part, it's like the hug, and it's always like a really long like hug and it seems like we're just, it's a, it's a very heartfelt hug I guess and I don't know what to make of it exactly because it's so weird that we don't really say much and I even in my dreams thought that if I had said, oh, you're not like really real and then touch him, he just disappear sort of thing. He didn't disappear that time. This is only a dream. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I just, I just don't really know what to make of that, I guess. And I wish I could have spent more time with him and like tried to help him a little bit more. I mean, I have my own experiences with mental health and a lot of his other friends do too and i feel like it helps to have someone who can relate it helps to have someone to talk to besides sometimes your own family i know for me it helps to talk to my family a lot and i do spend a lot of time with my family now but it also helps to talk to other people outside your family and have like a well-rounded life i guess or social life I don't know so I know I've been rambling kind of about this this whole time but I kind of want to get my thoughts out about it um yeah I think that a lot of us were having a hard time because we wished we could have done more but every time our we, every time we would make an effort to reach out, it was kind of like turned away, kind of shut down. We didn't really know what to do, so we just like accepted that, I guess. And I wish we had hadn't or maybe like just kind of pushed a little more or something. I don't know. I think it was really hard for us to make a decision for what to do because we didn't really know what was right for him because we kept being told he wasn't ready to see anyone and whatever. So yeah, I am just hoping that he's out there somewhere like in a better place and feeling better because I know he went through a lot of hard times and it's just hard to think about, I guess. But yeah, um, I'll see you guys next week. <laughs>